Wow, hi guys. Oh man, uh, I've been meaning to get back into the series for a while already, but there were some complications. Namely, my computer broke and I had to get a new one. But now that I got a new one, holiday's over, I'm able to get back into uh, into this. Uh, I've been trying to finish the series before the 20th anniversary of Doom, but, well, like I said before, I couldn't get to it. Anyway, now that that's over with, let me begin. Now, I want to start out by saying that I'll be comparing this version of Doom to the PlayStation release, namely because they're both identical in some respects. They share all the same levels, same monsters, sounds, music, hell, they even have the same password, if you believe it or not. However, there are some differences that I believe I should point out. So uh, let me begin. Saturn Doom was released sometime in early 1997, either in February or March. You know, really late in the system's life. By then, most gamers, well, and for that matter, the president of Sega USA, give up at the, on the Saturn by that point. So the fact that the original team behind the excellent PSX port didn't have a hand on this version isn't too surprising. Instead, Midway contracted Rage Software to port an already existing PlayStation game onto the Saturn. And as you can see, well, it didn't turn out, turn out so well. The first thing you'll notice is that the frame rate suffers terribly. Although it is better than the SNES version, that's not really saying much. Hell, even the 32 export of Doom runs better. With this horrible frame rate, it becomes a challenge trying to navigate through the levels. I find myself constantly bumping into walls and consistently getting stuck. Let me also add that aiming in this version is difficult as hell. And trying to get an accurate shot takes up time and leaves me open to attacks. Gone is the colored lighting. One of the neat features exclusive to the PSX is not found anywhere in this port. This is truly disappointing since the lighting feature in the PlayStation version gave that game a deep atmosphere. This port feels really stale by comparison. Now I'm not sure if it was due to some limitation on the Saturn's part or the fact that the development team was lazy and didn't want to duplicate that effect on here. But it sucks not be able to see this feature on here. Now one thing Now one thing I did expect in this version is lack of any transparent textures. The Saturn was known even back in the day of not being able to pull this off. Instead it used a translucent effect instead of transparent textures. What's a translucent effect they say? Well, it's more or less a checker texture that gives you an, the illusion of transparency. A lot of old school Genesis titles did this back in the day. But as TVs got better, gamers really started to notice uh, these kind of things. If we compare the Spectre Demon between the PlayStation and the Saturn, you can see that the image is a little off on the Saturn port. But this is hardly an issue. Graphically, they're both about the same. Although the colors do seem a little bit brighter on the PlayStation version. And like the PlayStation, it has the same ambient dark soundtrack that really puts you in a horror-like atmosphere. Overall, I give this version a D. This is nothing more than a rush port, and if the developers really gave enough time to work on this game, I'm pretty sure things would have turned out differently. You can easily pass this one up. Anyway, this was David from Calling All Gamers telling you thank you for watching my video. Please rate you know, like and uh, subscribe. And like always, have a good one. Up next is the Game Boy Advance version of Doom. Good night, guys.